organized this rally uh, and, uh, with support from uh, the engaged community members of Essex Westford um, School District because we've had uh, recent attacks specifically in Vermont, but nationally this has been an ongoing problem in the last uh, you know, few months and it's escalating. Our, uh, some of the members of our uh, House of Representatives were targeted by the GOP, by the Vermont GOP, and uh, for uh, advocating for trans rights and um, the murder of Fern Feather, which tragically happened this week. Uh, you know, I just thought that it was really important for our community to come out and support our trans community members, family members, neighbors, and friends, and show them that we have their back, that we don't stand for intolerance, and um, show them what Essex is about. I wanted to support LGBTQ people. I want to support our kids. It's important to stand up against hate and intolerance and ignorance and fear. Um, so I, I just think it's really important to uh, stand up against hatred. It's, we, don't, we don't want it in Vermont. I, I was born in Vermont and I've lived here all my life. I'm 70 years old. and. Um, this is not the Vermont that I grew up in, and it's not the Vermont that we want to see here. The, uh, the hatred and the lies that are coming out um, are just not, it's not right. There's so much suffering in the world. And we need to decide whether we want to relieve suffering or create more suffering. So I'm all for relieving suffering. Brought you out here today. Um, I, I think that we have to show support for our communities, and uh, there's too much hate. And I think we need to take a stand and uh, be more inclusive. Um, well, the first, you know, people who are trans fans or trans women are getting murdered at an alarming rate around the country. So. I'm here first to support them. Um, I'm here because I'm part of the LGBTQ community. My wife Lynn and I have a really great life in Vermont and we don't want to be living here. Um, and I think I'm also here because I just want people that uh, are spreading a lot of fear and misinformation about the LGBTQ community to know that their words matter and that that fear can lead to violence as it just has recently. And I just want them to like think about what they're doing, you know, when they're when they're spreading that fear. We're not trying to convert anybody or do anything crazy. We're just trying to live our lives. That's it, you know, so that's what I'm And I identify as trans. I just uh I choose to just live my life as I am. And I've done a lot of work, and I've lived my my entire life like I am. And um, I'm grateful that I can be married today, and that I can have a, a regular, whatever you call a regular life. And I don't I don't want to live thinking that I got to look over my shoulder. And I think that's unfortunate. This is a topic that's very close to our hearts. We're a family. We have two moms in our family, um, and we have many people we love who are in the LGBTQ plus community. Um, right now, in particular, some of the transgender members of our community are really struggling. Um, there's a lot out there that is not supporting our friends and our loved ones, and we want them to know that we have their back. We are support them. Uh, they're not alone, and we love them. So, you know, trans people are well, real and, and belong. You know, we're not perverted. My own school system, when I sat down with HR and administration, you know, asked me what I was going to tell the children about my body. And, well, for one thing, it was funny sitting with, with three other adults and having them thinking about my body, because I, I really wasn't thinking about their bodies. <laughs> um, and I, I just, I'm like, well, 
do we that doesn't really come up does it you know in, in the course of the day but then it, it does because as soon as a you know a cis female teacher gets pregnant you know kids are coming and they're touching the body their bodies and they're talking about the babies growing inside their bodies they, they talk about it they as soon as a cis teacher gets married they talk about they're getting married here's a picture of my husband here's a picture of my wife you know it does get that intimate and meanwhile you know the kids all the stories are, are gendered we talk about you know we teach kids how to be men and women but we do it without acknowledging the trans people or queer people or you know it, it's it's hard because they're not getting the education that they need um, I know most grades they have two bathroom key you know passes one's for the boys and one's for the girls you know so at the age of seven you have to choose your gender based on you know where you're gonna go to the bathroom or even if you can go to the bathroom and you have to pick up you know a, a key that has the wrong gender on it or even a, there is no there's no there's no non-binary bathroom key. There's no non-binary bathrooms. Um, it's, it's tough. And it, it sets up this whole illusion that, you know, we are a world made up of, of just men and just women, just boys and just girls. And that we're somehow this, this anomalous minority. Whereas there's is this, there's this spectrum of gender. And not everybody fits into that perfect ideal. You know, we've seen a lot talk about to toxic masculinity. Over the past years, we saw people boycott Gillette because Gillette, you know, um, actually took a stand on that. Um, oh, there's some fuckers, sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, those are But yeah, this is what, and people going by like this. This is going, people are going to have a meal day. You know, I been trashed online when I ran for office and I've been trashed online when um, they did a story about our house getting vandalized um, about my kid being bullied because his parent was trans and people are it's, it's hard if we don't start teaching children that trans people belong that we are that it's it's normal it's a natural thing that it's been observed in other cultures for centuries if we don't take that into our own culture we're gonna have more people like this guy that murdered fern feather because you know she made a sexual advance like that like that was reason like it was an excuse and thankfully Vermont doesn't have the trans panic defense anymore but it's still it's still it's still not enough you know we've we've done the damage by not teaching kids and now we have adults out there who are are murdering us if we don't start now like today like yesterday and start teaching kids that trans people are nothing to be afraid of for one thing you know one percent of the kids that we'd be teaching are trans you know i work with trans kids there's queer kids all over the school but if we don't have that base established at a young age, and they're not going to get it at home. They're going to get it from a few kind parents out there, but they're mostly not going to get it at home. If they don't get it in our schools, then we're, we're creating another generation of, of scared people who are going to end up killing us or denying us jobs. Um, it's, it's hard. Everything's harder when you're trans. Like every single thing. You don't know what to wear, you don't know who you belong with, and you don't know um, you know where to go in, in society every day. Um, it's hard enough as an adult. As a kid, like it's just it's just it's, it shouldn't be it shouldn't it shouldn't be that hard.